Okay, while I what? Mm, wow, wow, wow. That's a situation in Florida. Hello? Okay. Uh, let me just, uh, while I figure out uh, what's going on with the laptop. So I was saying that I I finished, um, I'm using my phone now to share the story. It's better, I think, can be taking it from the laptop. Um, so I graduated and I started looking for a way. I started looking for a way and I was around, it was hustle in Lagos, moving around. What happens to everybody happens to me. And what was that? Being broke. You make money, you are broke. You make money, you are broke. You start a very hustle upon hustle. You make money, you are broke. You make money, you are broke. You come back, you struggle. Until... Something divine happens. When God is, when you pray to God to lead you to your destiny, he walks around it. When you pray to God to lead you to your destiny, he walks around you. He walks around it. In the year 2000, that millennium bug, I had a divine connection. I had a divine connection and that divine connection was very simple. A Jewish prophet came into my life. A Jewish prophet came into my life. He lived in my house in Lagos for nine months. He lived in my house for nine months, nine whole months as I lived in my house. I took care of him, did everything I could do. But something happened. He left for Israel. After I left for Israel, he did not contact me. He just stayed away. Occasionally, then there was this landline, land phone, that we were using then to, I mean, land phone, you know, you call. Occasionally, he would call my house phone. You call my house phone and um, just say, hello, Tony, how are you doing? I say, I'm fine. Then in the year 2007, he invited me to Israel. He invited me to the state of Israel. He invited me to the state of Israel and my ticket, everything was paid for. And I flew to Tel Aviv. Had everything figured out. The Jewish people, there's a way they do their things. Everything was all figured out. All right? And I came into the hotel and invited me to a house in Tel Aviv in Israel. Now, that was the moment. They sat me down and told me that they invited me here to reward me for my being nice to a rabbi. They said they rewarded me for being nice to a rabbi. All right? I said, okay. And some of you will be shocked that the figure I'll mention. Some of you will be shocked. All right? They said to me, we would have been able to give you $20 million, $20 million in 2007. But if we give you now, you will be broke again. Say so Joris, yes, a Jewish prophet, told us that um, you make money in Lagos, occasionally you are broke, he looks at you, you know, while you were taking care of him at home, but it's because you don't have a secret that our father, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob gave to us. So, okay. Give me $20 million, I'll be broke. How? I asked. <laughs> and I said, you don't believe? They pulled up from a drawer and brought out documents of five people. 
And they gave their names. And guess what? They were past lottery winners. They were past lottery winners. The least amount that each of them won, the least amount that each of them won was $110 million. $110 million. That was the least amount. So they now said that our boys, that was the reason that our boys, Jewish people run the lottery operation all over the world. That all these people, we track them. They are all broke. That if somebody that won over $110 million, they are broke in less than 10 years. $20 million, said Tony, you'll be broke. The only thing we'll do is that we're going to teach you something. Something that our father taught us. That's what we'll teach you. And they give me the secret. Now, what's the secret? They said, when you go back to your country, when you go back to your country, do not look for, do not look for contract. Don't look for contract. Look for, they called it system and strategy. Long ago, 2007. They said, look for any strategy. If you to give me full disclosure, look for any strategy and the system, that word system was there, that we involve people using their three T's. And they quickly cut in and said, the T's do not stand for Tony. The first T stands for time. The second T stands for treasure. And the third T stands for talent. That was it. And I went back to Nigeria. Being close to a sitting president of Nigeria, right? I shunned, I moved away from contract because every time I kept on seeing, God's children told me to look out for something, a system and strategy. I kept on looking. I wasn't seeing anything. I wasn't seeing it. I kept on looking. But anyway, when my friend, Martin Chike Okuba, in 2019, August, when he sent a message to me, he said, Tony, I have recommended you somewhere. Have they contacted? He used the system. He came to see me in the hotel in Abuja where I was. And after we had a drink, he now said he had recommended me. So I, he followed the system. And before then, he said to people that were to call me, he said that be very careful, be very careful when you are calling this fellow because he might argue with you. He will argue with you. I know him very well. Just be very careful. All right. But when they called me, I didn't argue because I mean, I respect my friends a lot. That's, that's me. I respect my friends a lot. All right? I respect my friends a lot. So I didn't argue, all right? I was, I was fine. So I got to, when I got to the place then, you tell him um, Otaku. When I got to tell Otaku, as they were talking, I sat close to the door, really. And truth be said, I said, if they do anyhow, if they talk anyhow, I will move. So if they do anyhow, they talk anyhow, I will do what? I will move. That was it. But from doing anyhow, talking anyhow, yours truly is here today. All right? I am here today. I'm here today. I saw something. The moment I saw it, the moment I saw it, I just kept quiet. I said, wow, this is what I look for. 
12 years from 2007 to 2019, 12 years, I was losing hope. I was losing faith. This thing they said I should look for, will I ever see it? Now, I saw it. Thank God. And yours truly is here today. Doing what? Because when it was selection time, of course, I was ready. It was a vision. When my friends, Israelis, God's children, said, look out for something. Of course, I had no choice. I was looking. I was waiting, watching all the time. And I saw it. So that is my journey. My vision was something I was looking for. And it came my way by divine purpose. Because I kept on saying a prayer, Lord, lead me to my destiny. Lord, lead me to my destiny. I kept on saying that prayer. And here I am today. All right? So when you see me moving the way I'm moving, you now understand my is coming from somewhere. Mm? You might say follow come, but that's where it's coming from. All right? My is coming from somewhere. Okay? So, of course, my journey started. I need to share this story so that some of you understand why we do what we do, all right? That's why we do what we do. Yeah, okay? This story, I don't think I've ever shared it in this manner before, but this is, true, this is a true life story. A true life story, okay? It's my story. Mm -hmm. So, I cannot go against a vision that was revealed to me and I am pursuing. That's why I cannot do any other thing. I travel to Israel. He said, go and look out for this. And that's where I am today. That's where I am today, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, that is me today. And that is my story, okay? That's my story. That's why Dr. Tony Akabuno, when you see, they say, I am relatively unstoppable. That's the reason why, because of my story, okay? So I thank God for showing me this project through the La Buena Vida project. I thank God so much for showing me this project because um, I go nowhere at all. I go nowhere at all. This is where I am. I'm not going anywhere at all. All right? So the training of today, I'm going to explain to us what we need to do. Right? I will figure out um, this um, issue now. I'll figure it out. Do not worry. I'm figuring it out now. Um, okay. Really, really sorry, guys, about this, but um, it's going to be figured out now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, just um, changing laptop so that I can go to the training because you need to see the slides I'm training with. Let's see the slide I'm training with, right? Uh, just one moment, please. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, there now. So when you when you see some of you just came in here, you don't know what you're doing, but really this business is a vision. I looked for it for 12 years. 12 whole years, right? That's when I look for it. And uh, thank God I am here now, right? I'm very happy I'm here now, right? Really, really happy that I am here now. Mm -hmm. I give glory to God that I'm here, right? I give glory to God. Okay, I think um, um, Tracy is on that device I'm coming in with, which you need to make a co-host. Um, uh, I've seen the laptop now. 
that might be the way around it. I'll change my laptop now. So um, let me try and then log in with that one. Mm, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Uh, okay. Mm. Um, okay. Please confirm, I'm about to share my screen now. Um, please confirm you can see what I'm sharing. Confirm you can see what I'm sharing. Confirm you can see what I'm sharing. Can you see? Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes, sir, we can. You can, beautiful. And you can hear me loud and clear? Can yes, you hear sir. me loud and clear? Yes, sir, we can. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Um, okay. Now it says how to dominate and be. Now, please unmute your mic. So we can hear you. Ambassador, sir, we can hear you. Yes, I said that. Um, sorry, I was muted. I didn't know. I said that. As I share my slide, please try to listen as you write, okay? You see the vision and mission, I always have it on my slide, but you have read it already. This is something that we should have in our head all the time, the vision and mission. We have a vision and we have a mission, okay? Now, just please, because you see the belief is very strong in this business. You don't want to make a mistake of telling somebody to take the stage ever in this business. You don't want to put somebody in the lead whose belief is on a scale of one to 10 below seven. I said below seven, not even below five. Once your belief is strong, everything falls in line, right? When your belief is strong, everything falls in line. That's why I require to say the strongest belief wins. Whoever has the strongest belief wins in this business. It's about belief, right? What is recession? Because information is knowledge and knowledge is strength. Recession is defined globally as a period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, generally identified by a fall in GDP. In two successive quarters, two successive quarters, all right, in a year, and what it means is that by economic indices, Nigeria is in recession. So many other countries, including America, is in recession by these indices. Now, what do our teachers teach us? Now, as I'm talking about economics teacher, what do they teach us? Hmm? What you see during recession. 
Everything you see here is what you see during recession. People downsize. People save. There's so much fear. There's reduced risk taking. Reduced activities, like in our business. You reduce the number of activities in your office. The presentation, you drop it from four to two or one. And you don't do weekends. It's what we do, what most people do. You stop doing mega events, you don't travel anymore. There's price reduction. People reduce their price. So because we don't have money, reduce the price. Reduce the price of package. Really. That's what everybody says. But would be said in the marketplace, it shrinks. Go check the stock market. There's a shrink. Actually, a shrink. I will explain that to you. Because of the shrink, there's a natural reduction in demand. But guess what? There's also a reduction in supply. And in all this, there is lack of trust. When you don't want to spend money, you don't trust people. You don't. You don't trust people. These are the signs of this. And if you go to if you go to an MBA class, MBA class that you pay money to go and study in, in Ivy League schools, this is what they teach. This is what they teach. But guess what? We're going to change the narrative today. What you must do if you want to be super successful in this business. Do the exact opposite of what everyone is doing. Exact opposite. I repeat, do the exact opposite of what you saw in the previous slide. Be unreasonable. If people, if majority do not see you are reasonable, you are doing what they are doing. If they don't say you are reasonable, you are doing what you are, you are flowing with the tide. Now let's go back to the previous slide so you can understand the game plan. Don't, don't downsize, expand. Even if you go to church and mosque now, they will tell you, Save money, don't give up money. They tell you all these things. There's so much fear. There's so much fear. Everything you see here. Now, if you want to be sincere, right? Those of us who go to churches now, this period, I go to mosque in family meetings. Are these true or not? Are they true or yes? 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 They are either true or they are yes. It's what everybody says. <laughs> and if you listen to them, during the recession, you'll be broke. After the recession, you'll be broker. All right? That's why this training is instructive because we're in very trying times now. Time to activate your power base. The strategy has started. Remember I talked about a lot of lack of trust? Now, since during recession, most people do not trust strangers. You have to focus on people that trust you and are willing to do business with you. See, this is the time where you need to activate your power base. Power business where people know you and there's some element of trust. Code market, has the largest market. Over 99.9% .9 of people, right? Are in the cold market because you don't, you don't, there's nobody here that knows up to 0.001% of people. All right. But in recession, I beg you, activate your power base. Because your friends that trust you, they have money. They will not likely do business with strangers. They don't look for you, look for them. They know you. In recession, you are likely to get more positive results from your hot and warm market and cold market and total strangers. This is a fact established by people that are masters in recession, like Grand Cardone. Grand Cardone does cold market, he does, he does cold sales. But he says in recession, step back. This is time to go to your friends. 
you offend, offended them, apologize. It's the time to go to your classmates. It's the time to go to your ex-colleagues. They know you. Forget about it. you think they hate you. No, they don't. They prefer to talk to you than a total stranger now, this time, this period. Your warm markets and hot markets are your treasures now. Do not joke with your power base. When recession came, right, I personally activated one of my power base. One, I've activated one. Hmm? And I'm practicalizing it, it's working. Because